Hi, I'm Timothy Jordan, and this is an introduction to Brillo. Our vision with Brillo is to bring the simplicity and speed of software development to hardware by joining together three major components. An embedded OS based on Android, core services that enable a great getting started experience and allow you to operate at scale, and a developer kit with tools to build, test, and debug your solution. Let's examine each area in a little more detail. First, let's talk about the operating system and the hardware that runs it. It's based on Android and it's open source, so anybody can review the code. It's updated regularly on two schedules, every six weeks for minor updates and every six months for long-term support or LTS updates. Brillo builds from source with a board support package that adapts Brillo to a particular board. And you shouldn't need to muck with this, but it's there if you really want to dive in with some custom stuff. ARM, Intel, and MIPS architectures are supported with configurations as small as 128 megabytes of storage and 32 megabytes of RAM. We recommend a featured Brillo compatible board to get started. Now, these boards are all verified and tested to work well with Brillo, able to run the latest version of Brillo, and supported with documentation, including Code Labs. This helps to provide a consistent development experience and helps your product stay up to date. Next, let's look at the core services and the developer console. Brillo works seamlessly with Weave, which makes it easy for your users to get your device on the network with a secure and consistent setup experience. Let's your users interact with their devices through their mobile phone or desktop, allows your device to work with Weave-enabled apps, and the Weave protocol can extend to a, uh, support a wide range of connected devices. Brillo helps you collect and aggregate usage data from your devices in the field with your user's permission. You can then view and analyze this data in the Weave Developer Console to understand end user behavior and validate product requirements and assumptions. For Brillo devices, crash statistics and debug data can also be collected from devices in the field and used to improve the reliability of your products, again with your user's permission. Also for Brillo devices, once a new build is uploaded, you can then apply it to some or all the devices in the field. One last thing, the developer kit. The BDK is based on the Android.mk build architecture and runs on Ubuntu 14.04. It allows you to perform incremental builds or build the entire product from source. Testing techniques available include local unit tests, individual integration tests, or even the ability to use your own continuous build and integration testing infrastructure. And you can also use the familiar ADB tool over Ethernet or USB to test, inspect, and update your target device without any special equipment. Now that you have a high-level understanding of Brillo, why not dive in a little deeper with this link also included in the description below. Oh, and please give us feedback so that together we can make Brillo the perfect solution for your next big thing. <laughs>